Yeah, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of discussion about the future of players, whether they're under contract or not. Do you feel like you will be back here next year at all? Me? Yeah. I mean, watch the film. Um, but for me, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to play this game. Um, so many people thought I'd never play ever again. Um, so for me, I'm my worst critic um, and I'm my biggest fan. I'm going to keep battling, keep grinding. But the guys that, that, that know football and know our scheme and watch film, um, I don't have to speak on. I don't have to. I don't have to speak on myself. It's all love. It's all love. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Boys for Life coming at you with another video. I need a haircut, man. I need to hit up my uh, haircut lady and text her and see what she has an opening. But anyway, let's get into this video. So y'all heard it. That she was that Jalen Smith was asked. People that are under contract, not under contract, if he expects to be here. And this and let's just say that I found this video. Well, I saw Michael Anthony Fitness's video, and I had to kind of say something because I agree with what Michael Anthony Fitness is saying. Some of the stuff, and some of the stuff I don't like. Is it time to move on from Jalen Smith? No, not not quite yet. Um, do we need to draft his replacement? Yes, we do. Um, because um, Jalen Smith is not the star that everyone thought he was. Um, and I saw that when he was struggling in the year before, um, um, or the couple, yeah, the year before LVE, LVE, got, LVE got here. And I saw him have the success when LVE was the starter. And then I saw the lack of, just the lack of everything from him when LVE wasn't on the field. Like, I knew that Jalen Smith isn't the star that everyone thought he was. With LVE and him on the field at the same time, best duo that, that's out there. But I want a star, a stud guy that doesn't need to rely on someone else to make plays. Now, Jalen Smith was asked, I'm going to repeat this, Jalen Smith was asked if he believes he'll be here next year. And y'all heard, heard the, the intro. If he'll be here next year. And he said, and this is this, this is where I agree with Michael and he said that if someone were to watch the tape, that they would know, that they would basically understand what he's doing. That if you watch the film, it speaks for, for itself. Now this is the same guy that said, that said months ago, a couple months ago, that this defense was too complex, that he didn't understand this defense, it was too much for him. So how are you going to sit there in one breath and say that if you watch the game film, people will understand that you know what you're doing. But in, this, but in the very next breath, sit there and say that this is too complex and I don't understand it? You know how very contradictive that is? Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense for you to sit there and say, oh, look at the game film. People know our scheme, and they when they see our scheme, they know I'm supposed to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And then, months ago, you said, this defense is too complex. That makes no fucking sense. I mean, this is the same guy. And, you know, I had to look some of this stuff up because it was brought to my attention by uh, Michael Anthony Fitness that he's one of the highest penalized linebackers in the game. And it's true. Out of all the linebackers, and I didn't have to look very far because I was looking at who is penalized and it didn't go position by position. It just went the highest penalized to the least. 
penalized. And out of all the linebackers in the league, Jalen Smith, number two. Second highest, um, second highest uh, penalized guy. You'll see him right here. I'll have him up for you. Um, I'll have both pictures because I have two pictures. One will be displayed and it, the next one will be displayed right after because the next one talks, it shows you which, uh, what penalties he, ha he has had. Like I think one was roughing the passer, one was um, neutral zone infraction or some shit like that. Like it's, it's just read and and a lot of these were a few of them were bailout plays, but a lot of them were big plays to keep the game moving, to keep the defense on the side of the ball. I mean, to keep the defense with, I mean, the offense on the field. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And out of almost 1,700 active players, because you have 50 men, 53 men on an active roster, out of out of almost 1,700, the math, now hold on, 1,693 people, players, out of 1,693 players, Jalen Smith is ranked 29th. That's the most penalized player, not just at position, but player in the league. The only other cowboy that is ranked higher is Jordan Lewis. I think Jordan Lewis had eight, eight penalty penalties called against him. Jalen Smith had seven called against him. For him to sit there and say that he knew this scheme. Like, anybody can look at this and say, you're fucking retarded. Do I believe it's time for Jalen Smith to get going? No. Because like I said earlier, with Jalen Smith and LBE out there, they are the two best duos in this league. They are the best duo. One of the best du linebacking duos in this league. Now, do I feel we need to draft a linebacker in the first round with a 10th spot? Yeah, I most certainly do. I mean, you have LBE who's turning into a Sean Lee, in my opinion. He's getting hurt all the time. And you have Jalen Smith who can't do his job without LBE there. It's just, I, that's what I see with my own eyes. My, my eyes don't lie to me unless I'm seeing something completely different. But that's what I see. But anyway, I just want to come and talk on this Jalen Smith situation. Whether he needs to go or stay, those are my thoughts. That he needs to stay if LVE is out there on the field. But we do need to get ready for life after him. I get it. We have him for four more years. I think it's a ninety million dollar contract or ninety something like that. You, I gotta look at the guarantees. Once the guarantees are up, the, the guys can go. The guy can go. I gotta look at it. But anyway. Um, that's those are my thoughts right now on this situation. Shout out to Michael Anthony Fitness because he is the one that I saw this interview on and I had to do some digging myself. Shout out to him. And uh, I'm out. Peace.